uh, separation from the national side because of my affiliation with India and the IPL and the start of the IPL, you now have a look at the world of cricket that we're talking about. All the players from all around the world, friendships, almost homes here in this beautiful country. That's what cricket has done. English players, great friendships with Indian players. Indian players have great friendships with English players, with players from the Caribbean. Australian players. I know you guys are playing in a huge series at the moment against Australia. During, before and after those games, the friendships are rife. And so I think that sport can be used in some sort of fashion to be able to try and mend it. Cricket's an issue because China and America don't play cricket. <laughs> Russia definitely don't play cricket. <laughs> Interesting you say that because you're also the one who's highlighted uh, politics in the boardroom and the dressing room and you've written about it and how, how did that impact you as a player, how did it impact your game and, and your idea of what it takes to be a leader? Yeah, I, I don't think, pol yeah, I mean on the flip side, I don't think uh, politics should merge with sport in a, in a manner where it, it, it picks teams uh, and it favours um, different people um, but I actually think the world has changed a lot since I wrote that book uh, and I actually think that right now any opportunity to unify and to unite uh, whether it's countries whether it's people I think it needs to happen the world has changed so much I mean we've just been through a, a pandemic the last couple of years have been chaos for all of us so if there are new opportunities and we need to change the way that we think I think now is the right time to do it and if cricket in this conversation is something that can be used or sport is a conversation that can be used, why can't we use it?